So we're at the uh, Windows Phone Mango launch and we're just about to walk through um, the new update running on a uh, prototype. So can you show me some of the new features? Absolutely. So one of the first changes is uh, communication. Uh, and I'll show you into the People Hub. So here's my People Hub. It's very personal to me. Uh, all the pictures are uh, pictures of my friends and uh, business contacts, for example. A great example of that is my friend here, Sufi. Now he's actually a business colleague, but he also happens to be a friend on Facebook. And here you can see that Windows Phone will actually aggregate all the information about the same person, even though they could be about uh, separate contacts. So it's not a contacts hub, it's a people hub. Um, the phone knows whether I'm online, and in fact knows whether or not my friend is online. So here I can text, I can Facebook chat, I can even Windows Live chat uh, if you're signed in. Now let's say Suki is a friend of mine and I play badminton with him. New to Mango is groups. So here's my badminton group and you can add as many groups as you want, you can have as many people uh, within each group and you can even in fact pin a specific group to your home screen and you can move that around wherever you like. Now let's say for example, uh, you know, badminton's cancelled because there's exams going on at the moment. Um, with Windows Live Messenger, with Facebook chat, or with texting, uh, even with an email, I can actually send one message to everybody. So I can send a text and it's going to send that to everybody, it's going to uh, reply. Um, and any, any responses I get will be threaded in that one conversation. And I give an example of a, a conversation thread. So let's say um, you know someone replied by a text message, and here's uh, my friend Christy I was talking to earlier. Here you can see that originally the conversation started off in text. She then became online, and I noted that, and I thought, well, do you know what? It would be better to have that conversation going with Windows Live Messenger at that instant. If she then goes offline, I can then continue that conversation with text messaging. So that's just one way is how we're trying to we're trying to do all the difficult stuff in the background so that you don't have to worry about you know who's online when they sign out or oh look that conversation has suddenly been lost. And so the, the, the conversations are shown across uh, SMS, uh, Windows Live Messenger, and Facebook. Is that right? But not Twitter. At, at the moment, it's just uh, texting uh, Windows Live. And Facebook. Uh, can you show me also about the uh, the new Bing screen as well? Absolutely. So. Again, because we've um, asked our uh, manufacturers to always have a back button, a home button, and a search button, you'll always get one click access to the Bing Hub. And there's a couple new additions to the Bing Hub. Uh, you've got Bing Vision, uh, Bing Music. Uh, Bing Music is a similar service to Shazam, uh, where you know, if you're listening to music, you click it, it will record the sound clip, and then check it with the records up in our cloud, uh, and you've got one click access to, uh, you know, to download the track if you like it. Bing Vision is, uh, let's say for example you're uh, in a bookshop, a bit cheaper I know, but you could uh, actually use Bing Vision to take a picture of the cover of the book. Uh, it will then recognise that cover, it will then search for reviews, uh, it will then uh, have plugins for apps that you've already downloaded. So let's say you've already got an Amazon app downloaded, it will then show you the price on Amazon and one click you can then go and buy it. So the new uh, addition to the Bing Hub I'd like to show you is uh, Local Scout. So at the top of the phone, um, it knows where I am. So one click, and it's now taking me to uh, London in this example, but you could have just arrived in Manchester. Now, first of all, uh, it's taking you to the eat and drink um, pivot. I could pivot to other events to see and do. So uh, it knows we're in Millbank. It knows that there's a museum around the corner. Uh, shops, for example. Uh, Tesco's Express, uh, maybe not as exciting as, uh, as I hope, but uh, maybe yeah, there's buzz about that uh, particular store.